So, what is privacy? Yeah, the answer to that question is pretty abstract, involving the rights of man and ancient philosophical thought and, frankly, too much introspection for a short animated web video. So no. Let's ask another. Take a look at your phone. How much information about you is stored on it and how safe do you think that information is? Do you shop online, exchange messages on social media, Google search and perform general life-simplifying tasks? Of course you do. It's almost impossible to participate in modern life without doing at least some of that stuff. And you probably lock your phone and keep it safe because, hey, you'd hate for all that information about you to be in anyone else's hands. Well, let's say it already is. Because Google and Facebook and the store you shop at and the location app you turned on yesterday are all happy to collect and mine your information. And this isn't just your phone. This is your whole life. A pretty comprehensive picture of you is being built, which includes your history and future as well. And to be really clear, this isn't just the information you give them knowingly. In fact, you have very little knowledge or control over what information is being emitted. But we've got more. Thanks to new laws, new technologies and certain whistles that have been blown, what we now know is that governments are not just watching terrorists. They're watching all of us. Your phone calls, your internet surfing, your emails, your social networking habits, your locations, even the fact that you're watching this video right now. All of it. Now, people don't always react as strongly as we do to all of this. We hear a lot of, they can spy all they like, I've got nothing to hide, and stop being so paranoid. And the question about how much all this will ever really affect you negatively is kind of why we made this series of animations in the first place. So for now, let's go back to the privacy thing. Privacy, and your human right to it, is the barrier that protects you from people doing things to you. It lets you manage boundaries, so you can open up to those you trust and shut out those you don't. It lets you maintain control. This is your right. But in the last three decades, very powerful institutions have tried to tamper with it. It's the individual's right to privacy versus the might and money of governments and corporations. Only the fight is in secret and you don't even know you're taking part. They want to monitor you and make decisions about you. And they also push hard against laws that protect you. They do all this without public debate nor consent. And no one is overseeing them. I mean, this is where you're jumping off the ambivalent boat, right? Because privacy is about power. The more we have, the more power we have over our lives. And not to be overly dramatic, but throughout history, no system of mass surveillance has ever existed that has not ended up being abused. We have literally no idea where all this will end up. But the convenient solution we accept today will be the mandate of tomorrow. That's just how this works. Monitoring us, branding us, categorising us and profiting from us. Privacy can stop all this from happening. We can stop this from happening. Find out more at privacyinternational.org.